All right, well, let's go over a couple things on this trailer. Um, um, that I don't know if that's anything. I mean, that's probably just from where they welded it, they might have hit it down or something. Um, but you see this kind of bow? I don't know if that'll show up on camera. See how it's got a bow? That wasn't there before. So I, I seriously think this neck is flexing and I almost think it's flexing here. So the, the back's going here and this is going like that. Well, normally these are not eighth inch. You know, normally you have something that goes in the middle of this I-beam and you know, you have it angled or whatever. I get it, they're trying to give you this pocket. I care less about this pocket. I, I think it's bending. I mean, even looking at this, this has got kind of a bow to it now, and I know it didn't have that. Obviously, they're not gonna design a bow into a piece of metal. I don't know if that shows up or not. Second, to make me think that this is squishing, see how this is, I don't know if you can tell, see how that's kind of dented in? So it wasn't like that before. You see that? Let's open the toolbox. You see that? It was not like that before. It was not. This is this is literally collapsing. And the only reason I noticed it was because the toolbox I went to open, I'm like, oh hell, is that gonna open? You know, it's it's closer than what it was. Cause this used to be out here and it's doing it on both sides as you can see there see that it's bending and it's it's not like they they bent this you know to get it to fit this is bending that way see how much that's curved it wasn't like that before i'm here to tell you it was not like that when i bought it because i looked over i looked over the trailer really well and I looked at these and I'm like, man, I probably wouldn't guess at that with that eighth inch steel. It's gonna flex. I mean, you know the neck's gonna flex a bunch. It's bending it. And then this side, this side's doing the same thing. This is deflecting this way really bad. I don't know if you can tell that or not. It's a Lamar. Uh, it's a H8 trailer, I believe is the model number. Let's see if it says uh, model H8 022427. I don't know what all that means, but I would imagine uh, 22 foot flat. Well, I don't know. I'm not going to try to figure out their model number, but it's a H8. So it's got 8 inch channel going, you know, across the back, and then it's got that 4 inch channel for a rider for you know a wrap tongue or whatever you will back to the spring hangers i kind of like that i like the wet bolt i like to drive on fenders um i because it's a, a nice heavy duty fender you can step on it doesn't feel like you're falling off of it this trailer was brand new when i got it and i haven't had it but uh maybe maybe two months i'd have to look but i mean the dovetail i don't know if you can see that but it's it's dipping and bending it's actually bending in here where i drive um and then i think i've shown you this before see springs are supposed to have a piece of tubing right here and it did when i bought it well the tubing broke off so now these ride around everywhere which is probably a good thing because let me show you here let that swing down for a second so when you slide this over to say you know get the skid loader off where is that spring gonna poke into it's gonna poke right into the tail light it's happened so now i've got to move them to get them to sit like that so then i can drop my ramp down i should just take them off because it's not a spring assist ramp anymore it doesn't it doesn't do anything so that's another issue so what i'm going to do to remedy it I've got some round bar. I'm going to weld to the end of this to make it longer on that other end so it goes down past the bottom. Well, I guarantee you, you're going to be able to see 
some wires. Oh, look at that. See the wires? Yeah, you want to know why the wires hang down? Let's climb underneath the trailer. Let's let's investigate. Oh boy. It's fun laying on rock. Well, you see that? What's missing? There's welds up here. There's a weld. I don't know. Can you see that maybe? Where is it at? There's a weld right here. Nothing welded to it. You say, oh, this one's still on for now. It's got this little weld and that little weld holding it on. And then the wires are going right over that sharp edge right there in the corner. This was supposed to have a harness. Is that a harness or are those butt connectors? They told me that it was a harnessed trailer. Well, it might be because there's a plug. That sure looks like somebody added a bunch of butt connectors to something. Even though there's a plug right there. Butt connectors. No sense. No sense at all. I don't even want to look at the rest of the underneath of the trailer. I'm aggravated. Aggravated. I know, and I have the worst luck with trailers. The reason I bought a Lamar, we've got a little 14-foot utility back here. It's been a great little trailer. Nothing wrong with it. We added the rungs to the air gate because we had a mini skid up and it's got two kickers on it because the mini skid was kind of heavy. It doesn't like going up on air gates. It, it'll destroy an air gate. But this thing, and then I know this is, I mean, the trailer's, the trailer's fairly flat, but it's going uphill right now. But I mean, if they made a five foot ramp instead of a four and a half or four and three quarter foot ramp, I know that didn't make any sense. It's about four and a half foot, I think. If they made it a five foot ramp, like what it's supposed to be, it's short of five foot, it might make that progression a little better. So you literally have three progressions going up onto the trailer. Not a huge deal. I was actually gonna add a foot to it, but I need to add a plate to the back now so I can protect my wiring. Now I'm worried about the neck. I think this trailer is gonna go away now because I, I don't want to I don't want to go cutting the damn neck up I mean for me to fix it I'm cutting these wings off I'm taking all this eighth inch little tiny stuff off and I'm gonna put something probably from here and I'll come out to here probably and I would put it right to the middle of that I-beam and I'd literally have a kicker here even quarter inch would be better than that eighth inch stuff but I'd probably do three eighths same in here I mean, at least they hit the middle of the I-beam with it, but I'd have to call them and get stickers made again. They'd probably charge me for that, and I'd literally cut this out, and I'd put the same thing in here. I'd put, you know, probably 3 8 Just put a piece of 3 8 plate. Instead of breaking this stuff out, it's going to give you nothing but issues. So, um, little stuff. I mean, this could be overlooked, but, you know, see how that doesn't really have a seal? There's no seal in here. Why couldn't you put that foam seal in there as well? I know, I could. I sure could. But if you're building it, I didn't build the trailer. If you're building the trailer and you're gonna go in and put gasket, you know, with gapping in it, if you're gonna go ahead and take the effort to put gaskets in with a gap, why not just gasket the whole toolbox so you don't get crap in your toolbox? It's nice to have a dry toolbox. And I know we got, you know, jack post holes coming in and out and all that. And that's another thing. Look at that. It is digging in to the steel every time I run the jack. See how it's touching down there in the bottom? It is digging in and in, in making a channel in that. I thought, you know what, I'll take this off real quick and I'll fix that. I can't get into it with nothing. After you get this out, you, you don't have any... I don't have any tooling small enough to get in there. I can't even get a flat file in there. I tried it. Couldn't. So, I mean, I think I'm going to take a torch and take this off again and just nip that a little bit so it doesn't drag. But you know how expensive trailers are. And everybody that sees this trailer is like, oh, that's a nice trailer. And the only thing I say is, yeah, I, you know. I've got stuff that keeps bending. I watch it every day, every time I pull something, and it gets worse every day. Um, I know I carry heavier stuff, but here, let's see. What are we supposed to be able to haul? 
just flat out nothing they may not do it like that 10,550 pounds with no tongue weight that's just strictly you know capacity well I'm not at I'm not at 10,550 pounds yet I mean I do haul the excavator on here but I'm not at 10,500 pounds with this I haul this all the time and the tractor the tractor weighs 65 6800 pounds and the brush hogs 1500 pounds so I'm way off but they use the same trailer and they put 8k's under it so if you could put 8k's under it and make it a 16,000 GBW most everybody else will make this trailer 15.5 15.6 all day long because they'll give you you know 10 or 15 percent of the tongue weight and they'll they'll give the trailer a 15.5 GBW well that'd give me what another 1500 pounds so that puts me into you know 12,000 pounds on the same type of configuration but it's little differences little differences you know I mean it, it's thin it's just not right the back end not right I mean it's just not right I, I definitely I love how they did the extension for the 102 wide I love it it's a good idea I like it better than the load trail because load trail has like an outside channel that kicks in that goes back in that kicks back out uh-uh they put a nice eight inch channel all the way back and then they kick it out and and then they put that channel on the outside of it for that rider which I like that I like they have tread plate I would have been fine with wood in there but I like the tread plate they've got a gusset on the inside of the the dove brake and the outside you know they could have just done this one and uh not done this one they could have butt welded I'm sure they cut it and and bend it down but they didn't so they've got double lights I mean I probably wouldn't make it an option to put a trailer hitch back here but you know somebody ordered it that way and that's what they did I don't think it's legal with the four lights you're supposed to have three lights but I and I didn't order it that way this is just what I found it was in stock and I bought it narrow little ramps but uh, like I said base model ramps ain't a big deal you could have ordered the 24 inch wide ramps maybe make them five or six foot long though i mean i don't know i'm disappointed and both the ramps did that so you've seen this ramp both of them have the the spring all whoppy jawed you know the little pieces of tubing broke and everything else so i'm going to put another piece of plate underneath there i'm going to weld the tubing back on i'm going to extend the spring I'm not gonna I was gonna build some 24 inch ramps for it I ain't doing nothing else to it I'm gonna fix that to where it's right and somebody doesn't poke their tail lights out with the dang thing and I'm not doing anything with the neck I mean if somebody hauled a tractor with this all day long probably be fine I have no idea I'm not gonna find out I'm selling it I'm gonna get rid of it so if you're a trailer manufacturer or you're a trailer guy uh, as long as you're not Lamar I mean if Lamar wants to call me go ahead you guys know how to get a hold of me um, you can email me through YouTube and we'll see what happens but I don't think I'm ever gonna own a trailer with that name on it again um, this is just wrong I mean it may be right in their eyes it may be a great design that they've never had a problem but I'm I'm here to show you right now I mean you can see that bent right now I mean and it was not like that it's getting worse and worse that's that's driving in that way and this is getting worse because i've been watching it the whole time i was like well we'll see how long that stays straight i kind of looked at it and it was straight i mean i put a straight edge on it and it was straight when i first got it it's obviously not anymore i mean you can see that and these are getting real bad so bye bye lamar anyways truck's doing great this uh, i'll put this on the end of the truck video i'll just put you know i don't know let's call it i love my truck i still hate what trailer i've got now so or something anyways bad lamar bad do it better anyways uh hope you guys like the video let me know uh i don't know let me know what you think about trailers i guess um i'm not I'm probably not going to go buy a Diamond C. Um, 
I don't know, just opinion. I think they're crazy money. They're made out of the same steel as everybody else. Um, I, you know, maybe maybe higher tensile strength or something. They might use 50,000 PSI instead of 40,000 PSI or something. Um, I don't see how you can over-engineer over what everybody's already done so far and make a trailer that's literally double the money of everybody else. Um they're i don't know they're i mean maybe not double but they're pretty expensive uh i did find like a a b and b trailer it's like ben 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 Hith or something it's like b-e-n-h-n-e -E. i really like it i like how it's built it's a it's a channel iron skid steer trailer they call it but it's made out of 10 inch channel and they pocket it and the one i seen was 16k uh trailer it was two 8ks and they pocket it so they can get the lower height with that 10 inch channel um man this thing was built beautifully i they had it listed as a b and b but then i found another listing it was that ben hith or so, uh, uh, ben he i don't know how the heck to say it it's like b-e-n-h-e or maybe b-e-n-k-h-e I, I don't know anyways b and b look it up I'll, i'm gonna look into it um i know where there's a used ready haul deck over that i might get because i have to have something that's deck over to haul the tractor with the big brush hog um so i think we're gonna try a uh, dealer here in town has one that they use all the time uh cody from coleman he said he'd bring it out and we'd see if the tractor fits on it i'll have them give me a bid for a new one but i'm probably gonna buy a used one for now because I really haven't had good luck with trailers lately. I should have just kept my Max XD a long time ago, but I thought I wanted something a little bit bigger, a little bit better, and uh, that was it. I should have just kept it. Um, anyways, but uh, I think that's the route I'm probably going to go. I'm going to get me a couple bumper pulls. Um, the only reason I got this gooseneck because it was what I found, and I knew lengthwise and widthwise my tractor would fit, but... Uh, yeah i'm just sick of getting trailers that have nothing but issues i mean i know maybe i'm being a crybaby I, I i don't think so but i'm i'm afraid to own this much longer and have it start folding real bad to where at that point i've got to cut stuff apart a brand new trailer i i don't want to do it if i'm gonna do that i'm gonna build a trailer um anyway so trailer suggestions if you guys have a trailer suggestion um let me know i thought about kaufman bad thing is everybody right now with with all the shortage of staff and everything else after covid nobody nobody has any stock um and if you have somebody build something they're telling you four months are better out i can't wait four months for a trailer i've had this less than a month and these gussets are bending i i can't wait four months um but i i need a a 20 foot I'd like to get a 20 foot 16k maybe even a 20k if somebody had something um i need a 20 foot to haul my excavator my skid loader around so if you're a trailer dealer maybe and you see this let me know what you got i'm i'm open to whatever um i mean like i said i'd even look at a diamond c but i know my gosh they are terribly expensive um nice looking but terribly expensive um anyways so i guess let me know what you guys think um my go-to is usually max xd or load trail but they're kind of hard to get right now so anyways i'm done rambling sorry for talking a bunch 